good evening uh, <coughs> today i'm talking about buying data grid view using edmx file so first of all add a edu.net entity data model with full configuration uh, in this video select the ef designer database choose um, your data connections with the sql connection with the sql server so press new connection button Microsoft SQL Server yeah n type the name of your server that is uh, my name mm, is Jacob it's a uh, also my server name select the database that is banking system test connection successfully that is okay yeah as next select a table from this context you can select all the uh, tables but I select user account only because in this tutorial I need only user account table to bind the data grid we using EGMX file actually it's says too much symbols if you compare uh, edu.net because in edu.net uh, lots of code necessary for writing but in edmx model we have two classes that is model class and the second one is a context class through the context class we can communicate with the table and the database and uh, through the model class we can prepare a model for the class or you can say the structure of the class so drag a grid view control that is data grid view on the form also add a button control you can also add you can also bind uh, this data grid view when first time the page is load so after the uh, initialize component you can declare a method uh, in this on this method we can uh, bind the data grid view with the same code so first of all check the model class uh, that is user account yeah public partial class user account and the second class that is model one dot context class that is uh, data context class by the uh, by using this public property we can communicate that is public property is user accounts this is the public property by using this public property we can communicate with the table so create a object of the banking system entities vs new uh, banking system entities variable item equals to bs dot user accounts that is public property uh, in the context class that is here in the context class dot to list oops to list that's fine thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all video tutorials to bind the data grid view and many more things about uh, windows form so thank you thank you very much please keep watching my all video tutorials let's check your output